Good morning, it's about 11.30 a.m. I took an early lunch today. Really didn't feel well at work today. I don't know, for some reason it felt like it was hard to breathe in the office. So I had to step out. I'm in my car right now. And so let's go ahead and let's start the video. Alright YouTube, so I just got Flame Brother. I got my chicken plate, extra chicken. Now, I wish I could share this, I technically can't. But something really big is happening. It's two things, Dev's life has been shipped soon. I'm working with a designer to make the logo more professional, get, you know, the, the images I need, designs on the shirts finalized. Hopefully I will have that soon. Something really big is going on in my life. It's really big. I will share it maybe next week, if not in two weeks. I, I only want to share it when it's 100% confirmed. Alright, what's up YouTube? It's Saturday now. I didn't really vlog yesterday. Honestly, kind of crazy, but I did go to the gym yesterday. I did not get to study any code. I just worked all day, got off early, got off around 2.30. That's pretty much it now. It is Saturday. It's 2 p.m. now, so I didn't really vlog the whole morning. Today, what I really want to do, I know I've been studying a lot of PHP the last couple weeks and Ruby the last couple weeks, but right now, what I really want to do is, you know, I'm very comfortable with jQuery. Now, I don't want to stick with just doing jQuery. I want to get better. And as a developer, as a whole, you don't want to be good at just a framework. You know, you don't want to be good at Node.js, good at Angular, but then let's say your, your JavaScript skills are subpar. <laughs> what you want to make sure is that although you're good at the frameworks, then for example, let's say you're good at doing the bootstrap or you're comfortable with it, but just working with HTML and CSS alone on your own, and you're not good at just hard coding it from scratch, and that's not good. Then you're not legitimately really called or considered a developer. Maybe at your job, all you need to know is bootstrap, and you don't need to be good necessarily good at CSS or HTML or JavaScript. But if you want to be good as a whole, and if you want to be able to build your value and have the kind of skills that a company wants and needs, you need to be good at the your, your foundation. At least as a web developer, has to be very strong. Now as a web developer, the basic languages you have to be good at is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But as a web developer, you want to be good at those three basic languages, HTML, and CSS are, mar are markup languages, and so there aren't considered programming languages. So even if you're good at HTML and CSS, you're not considered a real programmer. Now, if you know JavaScript, then what that does, even though uh, you don't know backend language yet, you are legitimately a programmer now. You know a programming language. JavaScript is a programming language. It is used in the backend as well, Node.js. So yeah it's cool so those are the things that i want to focus on i want to focus on having a stronger foundation i'm very confident in html css but i want to study javascript now man big things are happening guys kind of crazy <laughs> but let's go oh. what's up youtube <laughs> i know i said it'll be nighttime but it's not just gonna do some stuff Let's go, here at Costco of Midori. Peace. Read my eyes, do I want to stay? If you thought you weren't made that way It's the choices we make We give and take And I know you keep trying Alright YouTube, so I just dropped off Midori at her house, helped her carry some things upstairs. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna go to Panera Bread and I'm gonna be studying JavaScript all day today. Let's go to Panera Bread. I am not at Panera Bread yet, I am heading there. I'll be there any second. Let's go through my day really quick. So this morning, Midori and I went to the gym, we did the leg and back workout, and after that we went to Costco. We bought food for the week. As you guys know, I've been working with jQuery a lot at my work. I mainly work with jQuery, HTML, CSS. I do a little bit of minor JavaScript here and there. Um, now doing PHP and MySQL, uh, learning MySQL commands, my SQL commands, whatever it's called. I wanna brush up on my JavaScript. I wanna make sure my JavaScript is a lot better. I want to focus on it a lot more. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go to Panera Bread and just brush up on JavaScript. I'm going to go through all the Team Treehouse JavaScript courses. And I actually did a little bit of that a couple days ago. And I was able to realize how much, like I noticed that I missed a lot. I learned a lot of things at Treehouse, but I just didn't retain it in my head. 
But because I've been working on JavaScript and jQuery so much at work, now like I'm going through the whole JavaScript track again and I realize how much I missed on. So it's really okay to go back in the track and go through it over and over and over again until you retain things or in case you forget really important aspects of JavaScript that you need to know better to do your job more better as well so guys I'm tired by the way I'm really tired I'm not sure if you can tell my eyes are so baggy man look at that <laughs> but all right let's go to Panera Bread ready I know what you What's up, YouTube? Oh, it's a little hot. Let me open the windows. Ah, I edited JavaScript for about, well, not edited, I was learning JavaScript for about an hour. Worked on editing some vlogs that I'm posting up right now. Uh, but yeah, so now I'm gonna pick up Midori. She's ready. Pick her up. We're gonna study together, work on some stuff, and get some errands done. Only have three hours to go, so let's go. Hey, hey, hey. 